Oh, oh. Right there. Here is here is my latest experiment in the RC plane world. This is the the flight test FT22. I've uh, put this together over the last couple of nights. I've come back just just a little while ago from my second maiden flight one unsuccessful one this morning and I'm just going to finish it off now I've got some extra card to go on the canopy and finish her up we'll have some flight video later and uh, I'll let you know what I think I thought I'd show you how it was that I was cutting out all of the parts and pieces from the plans onto the foam board and I got this idea from another another YouTube clip and it, it's just to attach print out the plans obviously and then attach them over the paper here I've just got it laid out this is a pretty simple shape but in all of the other parts I taped tape the plans down onto the foam and when you tape it down I was a bit worried but actually because the the, the edges is where you tape it, you're cutting off and then you remove everything else it all comes up nice and clean one of the tips I would say is always cut away from the part that you want to keep that way if you get offline you're not going to cut through the actual material that you want to cut. And here I'm going to keep the ruler on top of the material. Try not to put too much pressure on and then just take a couple of runs at it, let the knife do the work. And I didn't really want to do a full build video. I think the guys on flight test really have all of that covered. It's one of the things that I did look for was the best way to transfer the plans and in this case it's a poster board. plans onto the poster board. Now right, we can get rid of that. So I might start with a bit of glue. This is the first bead of glue out of a new hot glue gun. Oh. It's certainly a lot, a lot better quality than the last couple of glue guns I've had. It's a lot of glue. Let's make sure that that material is going to be straight. Alright, and we'll... Sure, it's all clean in there, so we don't want anything rattling around. We'll glue to this point. I have to tell you the difference between the quality of this glue gun and the cheap cheap glue gun I had in the past it is a world of difference I think we'll bend that back to give that fold
<laughs> Battery finished. Test fit then, just trim up each of the corners. There it is, officially finished. Well, I might have to put some colour on it. Oh, I think that's in the water. just wanted to give you a run through what I've put in it. 
It's a little bit different, I think, to some of the stuff that the guys recommend, but uh, I've got my go-to motor, the Turnigy D2826 2200kV motor. And the test flight that I did run it on today was on the Turnigy 25C 3-cell, 1000 milliamp battery. And that was pretty much right up the front. And I've got some Velcro in that bay there. And it was right on the on the limit to the ridge. Could go further forward. The balance point's right up here underneath the front. It still felt tail heavy on the first flight. And I moved a little bit further forward even. So the balance here was a little bit nose heavy. But flew a lot better. One of the other variations is uh, my own motor mount. So what I've done there is plywood, plywood, and then I've glued multiple layers of foam board together. And that makes it really quite rigid. And it means I don't have to cut out intricate bits of plywood to try and make the motor mount. <clears throat> I've got some super cheap Hobby King 9 gram servos. These things are about a two bucks fifty. Uh, I think if I crash too many times, it's probably going to strip gears. But for the price, uh, they're pretty pretty well disposable. Put a layer of tape here on the bottom, and over the skids, and down the nose. I think for orientation, I'm definitely going to need some color on it. I've got some colored tape, so I might just do something simple on the top and something different on the bottom.